a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for our massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name amen i get video away i want to present to una this very moment and i'm going to follow now they watch the video after we don't watch them together make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now come back thank you very much there was no sound i think the sound is restored the sound is back uh you're welcome to uh voice of biafra uh, 97.5 FM live in Biafra land. Uh, you are also watching live and direct on Enter Biafra channel 1 and 2, both on iOS live streaming app and Android live streaming app on Enter Biafra. You are also watching live and direct on Enter Biafra YouTube channel, also on Twitter, and of course on other social media platform of the IPOB autopiloted media platforms worldwide. This evening, we are here again to continue the radical awareness for Biafra exit in 2023. What we are here to do is to make sure that every Biafran receive brain and prepare your, yourself for what is to come in 2023. We are here to make sure that you are free from mental slavery. We are here to make sure that you are ready mentally, physically, and otherwise for what is to come next year, 2023, as Biafra will leave Nigeria by fire, by force. And uh, so we are going to go straight to the business of the day. <coughs> Sorry. We're going to go straight to the business of the day, which is uh, the reason why we are leaving Nigeria. I want you to watch this is that Two things or three things we're going to discuss today is that, one, we're going to discuss how you know, how you are treated as a Nigerian all over the world. We remember we are talking about failed state. You know, today I was supposed to be uh, on time so that we can continue from where we stopped yesterday, which is the failed state of Nigeria. So part of the failed state is what I'm about to show you today. One is how you are treated as a Nigerian with Nigeria passport globally. Two, how far we have gone with our radical awareness posters and flyers and all that sharing in Biafra land, most of Biafra, most part of Biafra are already seeing the posters everywhere in the street. And uh, there are some pictures which are not clear. I think uh, we'll be waiting for more clear pictures wherever you see the posters everywhere in your state, your street, in your city, you take pictures and share it on social media. It's part of the radical awareness for Biafra exit next year. Three, we are going to go a little bit into Ibubago activities. The, those who are talking about crimes in the Southeast, the people that are responsible for criminal activities in the Southeast are the governors and the politicians using the Bubago. And I'm going to, we are going to discuss about it this evening. So even though we don't have enough time, we are going to touch these uh, three different issues. And then we go from there, uh, wait for tomorrow if we come on time. We are going to have a lot of time to do a very thorough analysis on that. So I want you to look at what Nigeria, what you, how the world treats you as a Nigeria. Listen to this reverend sister. Where it's now for visa, 
All right, uh, you know, so you've just watched this, uh, Reverend Sister. She said, All right, uh, sorry about that. She, know, so she said that now passport na Souza. I want to, you know, I want to play that again. She said that passport na Souza. I want you to understand that passport. Na Sozo. Passport Na Sozo. That is what she said. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so we are going to. Airport, London City. She lives in the in the, in the United States. She wants to visit her brother in the United Kingdom. She applied for passport. Uh, she applied for visa. They refused her visa. You know the United States. Uh, uh, you know from the United States to the United Kingdom, they refused her visa because she have Nigeria passport. Okay. So they refused her United Kingdom visa as a Nigerian. Living in the United States, 
even while she is living in the United States, this United Kingdom that is milking Nigeria dry refused to give her a visa. From America, they claim that she don't have enough money in her account. Mexico, it's here for us, so. <laughs> yeah, true. You can want them working. I could put her story. Where one is York. Now she applied the second time. Yet, they denied her visa. As a Nigerian passport holder living legally in the United States, they did not even consider that this woman is living in the United States too, with a Nigerian passport too. They still denied her visa to travel from America to United Kingdom. As a Nigeria passport holder, the country that um, the, Britain, the British government are milking their company. A, somebody from their company, they could not even say, let us give this woman or this lady a visa. As a reverend sister, a reverend sister, you know, a reverend sister, a reverend sister, a reverend sister, they refused her visa. <laughs> oh, we are Kakita <laughs> American city. <laughs> so now, finally, after the second failure, she decided not to apply again and until she become American citizen, American passport holder. Now, listen. After she got the passport of America, she don't need to buy or go for a visa. She just book a flight. A flight. Put up an airport in the America. As she came out, uh, you know, as she went to the airport, nobody asked her again, what are you going to the United Kingdom to do? At the American airport, too, nobody asked any question. <laughs> When they look at that she's a U.S. citizen, nobody asks question again. Just like that, they check her in. <laughs> oh my God! Immigration. Check on more normal. Everything the immigration. Uh, we passports. UK citizens and American citizens this way. Other citizens this way. <laughs> when she gets to the Heathrow Airport in the United Kingdom, they ask uh, people, those with UK passports and American passport holder this way, those with other country passport holder this way. And she continues. American citizen, like, what the head of immigration, just you risk time or passport. So it happens that where she do is American passport holder supposed to follow, and those the United Kingdom, uh, you know, passport holder supposed to follow. There were no nothing like immigration officer, no human being. Just take your passport and scan, and you go your business. Serve yourself. Anything. I do as if I COVID. I do as vaccination. I do this statement of Africa. Oh, when he had you know, self service can appoint that. So then they go over. Uzo, he had no one. Yeah, now so. Okay, she said that nobody asks her about anything. No COVID vaccine. No nothing. No financial statement. No account. Anything. No nothing. And now she continued to say. That is the way this passport makes. Now, passport to an asozo means that the passport that she is holding now, American passport, makes ways for her. The American passport that she is holding has made the way for her. America, before, before America, before you, you, the passport you are holding is making ways for you. Now, ask yourself, what way? Have Nigeria passport made for you? Kedu we Nigeria passport ume guru. Onye sister na wage na America passport ne make a way for her to serve herself at the airport without any immigration checking, without anybody intimidating her, without anybody using telescope or microscope nenyo. Kamalo mo your picture on the passport or not? 
that the American passport is making way for her and every other passport holder, every other United States passport holder. The passport itself, ordinary passport, they make it way. The question is, all this sneak on poop that are fighting, that are talk, talking about Nigeria, all these idiots that are fighting for Nigeria, seeking asylum in the United Kingdom, seeking asylum all over the world, and talk about Nigeria. All of you that went to the, uh, to the United Kingdom, to America, to seek asylum, you got asylum, you got passport, and today, when we talk, you say Nigeria election. When we talk, you say Obi. What way have the Nigeria passport made for you? Is it the asylum? Is seeking asylum with Nigeria passport the way? Because the way you talk, they say it is because that Nigeria passport are traveled. Traveled where? Traveled where because of Nigeria passport? The Nigeria passport that already made you a criminal. The Nigeria passport that make you lie. You tell all the lies in this world, in your asylum. Everything you say is not true. You are lying. You use lies. You use lies because Nigeria is a lying country, a corrupt, a terrorist, a criminal country. Everything you say with Nigeria passport, as holding Nigeria passport, are all lies. You told those lies many years ago. Not now. Because those of them that are holding the passport, to come to uh, diaspora somewhere in you know in, in America in Europe to seek asylum, they are genuine you know they have a genuine problem because nobody wants to be in a country that uh, have a, almost a eleven terrorist group where they are killing people, kidnapping anyhow. So now and Nigeria government are killing too. So now you have a reason to come. But those people that uh, travel in America in those days and today they are enjoying the America with passport. If you talk, they tell you they are an American passport holder. Did they tell you how, how they ended up in America? Did they tell you what they did before they finally succeeded in living in America? They lied to the authority, all manner of lies, in the name of seeking asylum with Nigeria passport. I want you to listen. So, message in Takabo. Obu no way here na yotuku. Obu no way here from God. He said, he said, my prof. We are not, what we want from God is not the, to pray for passport. What you want from God is that God will give you the direction so that you support the Biafra liberation next year. So that we are going to build Biafra and our passport will be respected just like they respected this American passport. What is too big? I, you know, how, how is that too difficult for you to do? And let me tell you, this Reverend Sister also should understand that the people that fought for this passport did not rely on prayer. They carried gun, they carried their uh, arms to fight this same United Kingdom, this same British, this same Britain, America. They carried gun and fought them. They engaged in what we call guerrilla, guerrilla warfare. They fought very brutally so that this passport will become what the passport is today. It is not by prayer. So now she will come and tell you to pray so that you are going to get this passport. But the people that fought for this passport did not just pray. They fought physically with arms. They defended and fought for their freedom and they were able to make this particular passport to be what it is today. But they will come and tell you to pray. Prayer is good. Prayer is good. We are not saying that. But I'm telling you today that the people that fought for America did not just pray. They fight with gun and bullet. Obadiah Drama, the question is, what are we doing about Obadiah Drama? We can do better. And it can never happen in Nigeria because Nigeria have a different ulterior motive. So, all right so i believe you have now uh you know you've watched that so because of uh 
because of uh, uh, you know the way the dimension we are taking now, we are going to Nabia <laughs> for the next we are going today is to, you know, uh, bring to you the Ebubago. Ebubago. And here we go. To see what Ebubago is doing to our people. <laughs> now, for some of you, for some of you who do not understand, who don't know the story behind this, this guy you see on the floor was tortured to death by a bubago in a bony state. Was tortured to death, and that is how they have been killing Biafrans. Those there, and the reason why they captured this guy was because this guy you see on the floor being tortured to death was a land agent. Agent. Agent that sells land and get commission. And I said, I am going to use this as a center of gravity for Omahe. For Omahe's, you know, crimes against humanity. A lot of crimes have been committed by Omahe. So, this man you see here is a land agent. People that sells land and they collect commission. It happens that he entered into land business, land deal, with an Ebubago, Ebubago friend, a friend that he knows as a Bubago person. So it happens that they sold the land, commission was paid to the Ebubago person. Now the Ebubago person who collected the money collected his own money as well. So this guy that you see on the floor now went to this Ebubago guy to give him his own share of the commission of the proceed, you know, from the uh, agent fee that was paid on that land. Land. He has nothing to do with ESN. He has nothing to do with Biafra IPUB. The reason why this guy was tortured and killed was because he is an agent. They did business of land together. Ebubago guy decided to Swallow the money by a loan and uh, don't want to pay this guy. So it happens that one day this guy went to wait for that Ebubago guy in the street and say, You are not going anywhere today until you pay me my money. That was how he found himself in this situation. Ebubago guy did not only cap arrest and kidnap, abduct this guy. He also informed all his members. They bundled this guy, tarred him like a criminal. They took this guy to where they are torturing him now. They tortured this guy to death. Now, the community where this guy come from, where he was tortured to death in a boy state, the youth rose up and started protesting about his death. And they went to the local government chairman of that uh, of that uh, part of a bony state the local government on getting to the local government chairman you know i have made this particular exposition some time ago you know if you people can remember on getting to the local government chairman the youth the local government chairman went inside his house brought a gun and shot another youth down Pum, point blank the youth fell down there and died without wasting any time the chairman killed the youth because Omahe is the Hitler of a bony state. You know when I gave him Hitler, so he was the Hitler of a bony state. That same Omahe is calling Simon Epa the new bandit in town. So I want everybody to see what impunity the activities of a Bubago in the southeast. So those who are shouting, insecurity, insecurity, a Bubago are into kidnapping. Ebubago are into car snatching. Ebubago are into all the crimes, including enforcement of sit at home. Is Ebubago. And when they come, they tell you, stop ordering sit at home because the enemies are using it against our people. That is the people that are not listening. That's, these are the people that want Umahe and his group to use them as, as a sacrificial lamb. Because they will tell you to come out, they are going to send this Ebubago. Ebubago will go and enforce it at home, and all of you will be killed. 
So whenever we order sit at home, you sit at home because it is for your own good. Nobody will come to your house and kill you. Now, I want everybody to watch. Love for this boy. now now in case Look at what they are doing to human beings. Umahi sanctioned this. Umahi sanctioned it. Oh, we love Ndibo. We love Ndibo. Oh, you, uh, you are. You. They come to social media and write on pages of newspaper. Look at what Igbo politicians are sanctioning. How can you have a very wicked, devilish, and very, very notorious politicians? Who can sanction this kind of torture against their own citizen? You see the reason why you must stay away from anything political activity in Biafra land. We have banned every political activity. And that you go and participate tomorrow does not mean you are going to participate next tomorrow and go free. <laughs> Look at what the politicians are doing to our people. Are you telling me? He did not kill anybody. He did not commit any crime. He did not kill anybody's property. He did not. Look at Oh, 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 they say he went to he want to go and steal somebody's is a lie even the Maruko Gajizu is a lie. So what we're going to do, let's even agree that even the Maruko Gajizu, all Gajizu means he was about to steal. Because you know they have to give you a name. So even the Maruko Gajizu means that he was going to steal something. So he had not actually stolen anything. Okay? But I'm telling you the true story now is land. They made it, they had a land business and the Bubago guy collected the money and they refused to give to him. And when he decided to confront him, he ended up being killed. And that is the what Ebubago is doing today in Biafra land. Now let us watch another Ebubago uh, victim. Another Ebubago victim. To talk on uh, Ebuin State. Recall that at the beginning of this program, we actually told you uh, that uh, mm -hmm. Honorable Lasso Kori uh, telling us and giving us detail of what happened when he was in captivity of those who captured him. Whether in when he was in captivity of those who captured him, those who captured him was a bubago. Why did they capture him? Kidnapping. Watch. In the, in, in the dungeon. On the order of Omahi of Ebony State. You see the reason why some of us are going to make sure we, are, we use bottle to bab this politician's hair. Bubago, as many many of our guests who came. Uh, before now told us that um, there is a there is a torture house in a state owned or controlled by uh, the, the eastern security outfit a bubagu and we'll have to hear all that today but let's uh, quickly tell you thank you so much for thank you very joining very much. us thank you Good thank evening, you Nigerians. yes thank uh, you. yeah let's begin from when they said you were kidnapped when, was there any time they kidnapped you i was abducted on the 16th of October at 11 a.m. precisely. 
by a team of a Brubago uh, militia operators, mm -hmm. operatives that was personally led by one um, uh, Pancrist Eze. He's called Power. He's the uh, special assistant to the governor on internal security. Are you hearing that? Special assistant to Omahe on internal security. They have been empowered to kill, abduct, and kidnap and kill in a boy state. Of course, some of them are resigning now <laughs> because, uh, you know, they know what is coming. That's an official position. And um, what happened was uh, like a movie, but actually the uh, Gestapo style. Okay. I was driving that early morning and um, I saw a checkpoint, purportedly a checkpoint that looked like a normal security checkpoint. And um, a vehicle was parked, just like the policemen would do. And they were not putting on, they were not in any uniform. But this black type of t-shirt, which you see operating for some police uh, uh, groups wear. And somebody approached me and said, can we check your boot? I mean, that was normal. Mm -hmm. I came, I was driving myself all mm -hmm. alone, opened the boot. After I opened the boot for a truck, you know how to open the boot of a truck mm -hmm. is? After checking the boot, I said, is that okay? He said, yes, okay, can I go? He said, no. He, used to, he was holding an AK-47 rifle, mm -hmm. similar to what the police mm -hmm. carry. He pointed me towards where the vehicle was parked by the side. I said, I should go this way. I said, why should I go that mm -hmm. way? He said, I should go that way. That is a drug allegation against me. Okay. I said, drug allegation, how? He said, yeah, I own one premises called City Hub in Abakaliki. It's an entertainment mm -hmm. spot. He said, some people were arrested in City Hub who were from a different uh, place itself. And they are mentioned. I said, I've been away from Ebony for three months. I just came back last mm -hmm. night. How? Mm -hmm. Anyway, while we're doing this, the people who were by that vehicle cocked their guns. Mm -hmm. I saw a let's fire him. It was then I saw it was pump action gun that those were carrying 47. And I said, Oh, a Brubago, because that's what they carry. As I was still asking him questions, three other vehicles, the Siena buses, came. Each of them was occupied by at least six persons carrying those uh, pump action oh, rifles. Okay. I was saying, I should go. He said, At that point, he said, Honorable, I know you. The person, I, I couldn't recognize you, I never met him in person before. But at that point, he was telling me, please go, let nobody enjoy you. I visioned his face when the chick and what about was. Um, so I, I was very active in campaigning for him. So I saw, I said, okay, ah, this is this uh, SA. He said, please go, I know you. Let nobody enjoy you. We were discussing two other heloxes, uh, heloxes, this type, uh, innocent type, with a back built like the police type, came in more. There were more than 30 operatives, all carrying guns and all pointed at For me justice. at the same okay. time. So I saw the danger. I walked in into that vehicle. Mm -hmm. Se uh, sequestered me inside. One of them hit at me. He said, no, don't touch him. Don't touch him. And I said, my truck is there. I leave my vehicle here. I have money there. I have my phones and I have some personal effects. He said, okay, where is my key? I gave him my car key. Mm -hmm. He went in there. He said, somebody. They brought the money that was there, my phones and the few things were all there. He said, I said, yeah, that's them. He wanted to give them to me. He said, no, he held them back and entered the front of the vehicle, gave one or the other person my car key. They drove and we drove off. If I said my, somebody had accused me of drug, right opposite the, uh, the old government house where they drove me into yeah. is the state police headquarters. I was hoping that they would drive me to the police headquarters where probably pe those people who had accused me in the police cell. They drove me into the old government house, drove into where it's no office. So they sat me down, gave me a seat in front of their building. The man who was their leader, the pancreas, the essay to the government internal security, asked me, yes, honorable, some people are in our cell that had accused you of drug. They mentioned your name, they were arrested in city. I said, oh, fine, please bring them to confirm. Let me also uh, confront them. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, nobody was brought. He walked away, made phone calls. It's a large car park the building. He went, uh, made phone calls, it. came back. I mean, he was answering calls and going. I allow this thing to flow because this is just a story. So you people can hear the story yourself. It's in English. And I said, um, well, asking who had video that was shared on the forum some time back? Bring it up. Let's on watch. 
Another 10, 15 minutes, nobody brought out uh, a video for Honorable to watch. He now made his call and went far into the car park. Another one who is called um, Ugo Martin, mm -hmm. who they say is allegedly the head of finance of uh, Bubago, mm -hmm. came to you and said, Hi, Line is so cool, you are now here. We have seized your phones. You can no longer write nonsense about the governor online. Mm -hmm. Next thing, they'll dig six feet, put you inside, cover you, and nothing will happen. Life goes on. I said, are you told to kill me? He said, don't talk. You have no right to talk here. I said, in a democracy, he said, there's no law here, no law rights here. And you have no right here. Is that correct? So they told you why they picked you? You know, at this point, nothing. Because we're waiting for the drug allegation. Nobody okay. was brought. Okay. So this same Ugo Martin, after telling me the six feet to be dog, you know, when you call names of pe uh, persons that are not here, I mean, mention him because they were listening to me, and okay. he's a person who is known. I mentioned Pancris, is a power who is SA Internal Security, mm -hmm. and he was carrying an AK-47. I have mentioned uh, uh, Ugo Martin, who is said to be the head of finance mm -hmm. of that organization. He now told me that look at you, how can you contest Senate against the governor? Mm -hmm. an, who cut you? How can you contest Senate against the governor? It is an insult that it is the governor who made everybody. I said, have you asked the governor what help he was to me and what help I was to him? That you are probably don't know the history of myself and the governor. I am not sure the governor would tell you to do this. And even the governor would not say this, that I'm contesting election against you. Mm -hmm. One other young guy would ask him, is he running for election? Say yes, he's the Labour Party candidate of... Uh, who wants to challenge the governor? Mm -hmm. That is the last discussion from the 11 a.m. when I was abducted to 11 p.m. when the police came to rescue me. Nobody. Mm -hmm. They kept me there. After some time, he walked away after the discussion. Mm -hmm. They now took me into the room, their office. It's an outer office for the first time. Gave me the same seat to sit down. After about 10 minutes, they said, I should remove my dress. They removed my top, took away my um, sandals. Already they had taken my phones away. And said so I should remove my jeans. I said, no, I'm not putting on anything on that. I just woke up in the morning to try and buy something. They left me with that. I sat down. There. Now, I want you to understand. Police came to rescue him from a bubago. Of course, because, you know, he's a, he's a Nigerian politician. Now, did any police come to rescue this one? Did any police come to rescue this one? The answer is no. This one was killed. You know, you have a on top of it. Maybe you have a on top of it. For them. Now, look at it. No police. Ordinary. Ordinary man. They use this axe. Breaking his bones. Look at them. Look at them. Look at him. Why you heartless people who cannot go after terrorists? Who cannot go after Fulani terrorists coming to kill you in your land? They were not recruited to fight crime. They were recruited to be used as hired assassin, political thuggery. That is what Ibubago is doing. So let us listen to a politician and police came to rescue from their hand. After 20 minutes, they brought me out. Instead of giving me a seat now, they now sat me on the floor. I sat there for 10 minutes, took me inside and sat me on the floor. Okay. While I was still sitting down there, I noticed that Ugo Martin invited about six of the operatives. There were so many of them. All of them were guns. Invited them to hold the tete a tete aside. Six of them came to me and said, Yes, stand up aggressively this time. Who are you? Why do you do you remove all this address? I said, I am not putting on anything. I can't undress myself. Four of them, one held this hand, one held my, two held my legs, and stretched me out. Okay. The next was pulling my dress. Mm. So I was struck, struggling all along with them. I said, don't take at me. We don't have to do this. Then the fifth person pinned my neck down with his knee and held, used by his knee to hold my, knee, my neck to the floor. Wow. And they stripped me naked. All right. 
having stripped me naked, the same way they're carrying me, one person to each of my legs, and one person to each of my hands. That was they torture. Ca they carried me. Of course, they were hitting me with the butt of their rifle. They were struggling. There were so many things were <laughs> happening at the same time. So that time, maybe you, you, you passed out. I was struggling. I was struggling because I didn't want to be put on naked. They now carried me that way and took me outside into the car park naked. All right. Somebody videoing. That is what? So, so, and I, I noticed, I said, why are you videoing All these governors One of them said, why are you videoing He said, according That's to him, that allegedly, the governor and the younger brothers should send to that. I said, and I started talking in the video. He said, is the governor cannot send you to video me, but if he's the one, okay, see my nakedness. They were hitting me, hitting me, wanting me to stand up fully naked. So I'll be under that video. Okay. My mind told me, if you do stand up, it's possible that they will put you in a frame that somebody can go and manipulate the computer yeah. and not take my image, just oppose with some other image, maybe somewhere, probably anybody in any situation. Okay. I said to him at that point, at this point, they have guns around me. Three of them with AK-47, nine with um, one patron. God, I was struggling and looking around. All this they did was because you came out to contest, contest election. against that's, that's the government. All because in, against the governor, that's according to Hugo Martins. Okay. Because outside that, no question, no interrogation, or the drug allegation, nobody asked me any question about that or through that. Mm -hmm. And they now left me after maybe about 1 p.m. They now left me, sat me down, mm -hmm. naked in the car park, open car park, mm -hmm. for the next 30 minutes. All around me with guns. Mm -hmm. I turned around to look, one of them behind me. Say if you look back again, I'll fire you. Okay. A young boy. Probably so what happened? Something. At what point did the police come at, to? At this point, nothing happened. Yeah. I remember with them till in the night, the got late. Became dark, no light. They left me inside the office now. Now they had given my gin. I saw that the zip had been, of course, it had been ripped open because of the struggle. Okay. I, I wore back that gin, tied it up because there was no zip any longer. I mm. managed to be with it. Around the, uh, sometime in the night, around 8 p.m., one of them, unknown to me, I don't know, I never knew him, but walked to me because it was dark and said, Oh, God, I don't know what, like, what is happening, but pray. Our God just said that very soon they'll take you into the cell, and by 2 a.m., we'll come and pick you. So, what 2 a.m. means? How would so you picking somebody at 2 a.m. to where? I don't know, but of course, you know. But finally, finally, what now transpired was that I didn't know that all this why an opera had gone out because all my struggle was how to pass information where I was. I begged the people on duty, even I had 250,000 the money they saw. I told the boy on duty, please take all that money, just make one call to inform where I am. The young man said, We were specifically told not to let anybody know that you are here, not to make a call on your behalf, and not give you a phone to make a call. At this point, you were with Ebubago. Ebubago from 11 a.m. Up to today, I'm talking to you. After that 11 a.m., what did you say? Is there anything called uh, the torture chamber? At 9 p.m., at 9.20 p.m., exactly. Yes. I was led into a cell. The same people have turned around today. Every They commit this crime. They call ESN. They call Simon Ekba. This is what they do. If this man is not alive, to tell the story. Maybe, you know, the next thing is that he was kidnapped and killed. Nobody will know who kidnapped and killed him. The next thing is, Biafra are killing each other. It is the governors. I told you people, anybody that is coming to tell me any rubbish, hold Umahi responsible of the insecurity in Ebony State. Hold Uguanyi responsible for the insecurity in Enugu State. Hold Soludo responsible for insecurity in Anambra state. Hold Hope Uzodema responsible for insecurity in Imo state. Hold um, 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 what is the name? Ipazu responsible for the insecurity in Abia state. All these people are directly involved in sponsoring this insecurity to blackmail their fragitation. And we are not going to, our Eastern Security Network will not lay down arms. In fact, we are fortifying their arms. We are buy more of modern arms to confront Fulani terrorists because they come with a very heavy, you know, modernized uh, military Nigeria supplied arms. So we are going to buy things that will match what they are using to come to kill people in a harmful, for example. 
and terrorize our people in the southeast. So if anybody thinking that with all this insecurity that these governors are sponsoring, that we are going to stop Biafra, you are going to be disappointed because we are going to buy machine gun, we are going to buy chain gun, to make, because that is what they are using to come to kill us. So anybody that is thinking that all this blackmailing and propaganda is going to move us not to fight for our freedom next year, you have a long time waiting. And you are going to wait for a very long, very long time. In fact, we will disappoint you. But this is the, the, the murder of the insecurity in the Southeast is what you are watching now. This is what, you know, explain it all. I have just brought two class of people. Two class. One is a very poor man, a very poor Biafran, a very poor person that doesn't have anybody to speak for him. Look at him lying on the floor. The second class is a politician who is contesting against Omage in the Senate for the seat of a Senate in 2023. He is contesting in the same constituency with Omage and Omahe want him dead. And here, you are hearing his story. You see from different perspective, from different individuals, from different class of people in Nigeria, what the politicians are doing. So you see the reason why the, all these criminals, all these crimes, all this insecurity in the East is increasing every day. While our ESN are in the bush, making sure that Fulani did not come, they will send the military to go and attack them. And then they will send the Bubago to go and attack those in the city. Are you seeing insecurity? So long as the politics continue to work free. In a cell, that's the torture a, a chamber. Cell, yeah, that's right. Right there, I saw nine young men. Some of them, most of them younger than 18. Some of them have been there for up to two, two weeks. Many of them, nobody knows there. Their parents don't know, their relations don't know, and they don't feed them. Within the 920, I was taken in, and 11 p.m. when the outside, thank God for I'm, uh, I'm uh, Clement, thank you for your support. Make fundraising on 10th and 25th for U.S. That's for us diaspora, or is it for U.S. diaspora? Find out about other diaspora. Is it U.S.? This will boost fundraising. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Clement, Mazi Clement, may I know the reason you chose 10th and 25th and of which month? You know, 10th and 25th of which month? May I know 10th and 25th of which month? We need to know so that, uh, you know, and why do you choose this, uh, this date? Please. Make your comments so we can we can rub mine together. Thank you. For my media, thank God for my age, God for my community. Thank God for, thank God, for God. That uproar had raised. The commission of police was now forced to send a crack team who came to rescue me at eleven. Between that nine twenty and eleven, when I went out, I had insisted that they go and buy food for these young boys who were there out of the money I had with them. Thank God, one of them agreed to go and buy something for them to eat. So at 11 p.m., the police came to rescue me. What they told me was I was being taken into protective custody. Mm. I remember that I told if, if the police, with that, their head, who is the pancreas, Eze, who is the power, the SA, internal security, I told him, remember what your people did to me. This is the torture I went through. My ears were drumming at that point. Okay. I had gone, I got surgery. This is my glass. This is my uh, um, glass I used to read. When I got there, when I saw they started beating me, I told them, please, I have had surgery in my two mm -hmm. eyes. Please don't. At that point, they started slapping my eyes consistently, hitting me. In the As I speak, this document here, mm -hmm. inside here, is the uh, report, the reference I was sent because of my eardrum. Tympanic membrane, what they call it, which had been torn. As I speak now, since I've been in that place, I don't pour water on my head so that water does not enter my mm. ear. Ears. These are the offshoots of, of the culture that is still. Oh, no. I have been scheduled also to go for eye surgeon, so, but that's by the way. Okay, oh, Let, Andre, Andre, we'll come yes. back to you. Let's, uh, yes, let's you. quickly just go for this short break and also to tell 
uh, we are opening up our platform. Now, I want you people to understand. Somebody made a comment about George Floyd. You see, you must be watching this. Look at the way they step on a man, a Biafran, and they will turn around and tell you they love you. Turn around and tell you, Omahe, we say, Ebony State is not a Biafran. Who is he? Who is Omahe? To say it's not a they use axe, axe to match it, to ask somebody, look. Listen to the sound, listen to the sound of axe. Listen to the sound of axe. Axe. to the sound of axe. For a human being. Okay. I'm going to Look at this one with big stomach. Afonshi. Look the Afonshi, look this one. Pregnant men, look at, look at, look at, look at how, how this one look. Afonshi. Look at what Omahe is doing to our people in the southeast. Look at what Omahe is doing. Are the world seeing this? Are the world seeing this? What is different? But this is worse than Floyd. This is worse than what America did to black Americans in in a, 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 to black Americans in America. This is worse treatment, worse torture, inhumane and degrading treatment. This is this is this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And this is happening in the Southeast. Yet, they are the one that shout the most of insecurity. They are the one that tells you uh, Eastern Security Network. They are the one that tells you IPOB. They are the one that tells you that their friends manufacture bombs. We will, man we will manufacture bomb and even manufacture aeroplane to fight you people when the time comes. Look at, look at what Omahe is doing. Omahe now have impetus to come to social media and call Samonepa a bandit because Samonepa is fighting so that Omahe will not be treating people like this. The reason we are leaving Nigeria is so that you are not going to be treated like this. So that you are going to find yourself in a country that will have sympathy, remorse to human life. This is the wickedness of politicians in Nigeria. And that is why we are going to remember these people. Hi, Gina Kemere When we are going to remember this politician, hey, Chile Kemere Mebere, do not say, why are you people heartless? Because they have, they have done everything to us. They have dealt with us. When we are going to start with them, hi, Oga Adekwa Wanda, Oga Adekwego, do not think that now you are free. Nimwelo police in Wendam everywhere. Do not think that your government house is free. Do not think that you are secured because the day we are going to have enough. Hmm. <laughs> there is no amount of security that will stop the Afra people from capturing you in government house. I am telling you the fact. No amount of security will stop Biafra people from breaking into government house and capturing you. And that day is fast approaching.
Mark my word. The revolution will be very bloody. I am telling you. Because we know how heartless these politicians are in Nigeria. Very, very heartless people. But the revolution is going to be very bloody. And we are getting closer. Those who are calling everywhere, calling embassies, they are not seeing this. So. They will not see it. But I know that this video I am making today, these brokers will break the internet. It will break the internet. I know. I know that it will break the internet. But let us see how these criminals, wicked souls, are going to react to it. Now watch. I've told you the story behind that man. Now, I do not know what else they want to talk about. If there is no opposition, let the cast perch and the ego too. And uh, still going on, let's uh, quickly just, uh, you see, now you've gone through all this, the case is still in court, isn't it? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's been discharged. The government withdrew the... the uh, oh, that, that's... I, I was going to come to that, actually. Okay. Suddenly, I was taking to the police. The next morning, I expected the police, okay, sorry, what happened, and so on. They rather brought old petitions that have been brought by state government against me, mm. who said I was writing a state, uh, criticizing the state government in January and February and March, and I had gone to Federal High Court Abuja, and got a judgment. In fact, the government was told to pay six million naira, which had not even been paid. The brother, oh, this is already overtaken by event. I have a judgment against it. So there was nothing to charge me for. They didn't ask me what happened. I insisted they should take questions and take statement from me. I said no until I bring. So all those allegations of so drug, drug so, and all that. Yes. Yeah, so suddenly, nothing. The police now kept me that Monday until that at about four p.m. They took me to court. Suddenly standing in the dock, I heard I was being charged for murder. For not, murder. Not drug. It, it, not insulting the governor. But I was now being charged for murder. This is uh, somebody that the same police, Nigeria criminal police, came to rescue from kidnappers. From a Bubago kidnappers. They came to rescue him, and the next day he found himself standing as a, as a murderer. As a murderer. They have concocted all manner of crime on his head. I want you to understand the evil and impunity of this Nigeria. Nigeria is, Nigeria, you know, I don't know. I don't know why people, in fact, the worst thing that could happen to you is to be a Nigerian. And just listen to this story. Because he is a fish. He could not be killed like that if it is ordinary poor you. Any day Nigeria happen to you, like this man, you'll be dead. Completely dead. They charge him for murder. For, from being uh, rescuing him to become a murderer in the court. And standing before a judge as a murderer. <laughs> hey! Hello, Melo. I want you to see the reason why these people are fighting tooth and nail against the Biafra from coming. Because they know if Biafra come, this nonsense will not happen. It is only Nigeria that support and the aid and the bait such crimes against its citizens. And because when you are like Adolf Hitler uh, against your citizens, full and uh, you know, honor you because they are honest. They are edgy, 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 Ibu Madu Emogo. Full and edgy, Ibu Madu. Ibu Madu Emogo. Ibu Nyenkegi Emogo. So the more you slaughter and debo, the more they value you. That is why Omahe is romancing them. I want everybody to, to listen to this. Nobody asked me, nobody asked me, even the police, fortunately, that they should assist me that I was being accused of drug. They don't even confront me with one allegation of drug. Right. But I was not charged for murder. So, you know, I was to find out. How did he... Now, what is the 
different between this and what you see them doing to me on social media. Uh, Victoria Osai, God, God, please don't punish the entire Igbo race together with those perpetrating this evil. Amen. Yes, of course. Now, what is different between me and this man is that, uh, you know, Abu Monon Seruaka, uh, this man, uh, so they capture him and all the, all the, or if, if he is like me, the allegation will be on social media. They will call him Ekberima. They will call him Tinubu boy. They will call him Atiku gave him money. They will say he is working with Nigeria. They will say he hates Ndibu. They will give him all manner of names, just like they are giving to me, because Abmon uh, Seruaka. But in Kenya, you know, for him, they don't need to give him the name. They will give him the name why they torture him. They will give him the name why they want to kill him. They will give you the name while they present him to the front of George. And that is exactly what Nigeria is. Lies, blackmail, propaganda, cook up things against any citizen that want to speak the truth. And that is why nobody is talking anymore in Nigeria. Everybody is quiet. When you talk, they say, don't talk or you are going to be killed. And the government decided to, to withdraw, withdraw the all charges. the charges. Uh, yes, I uh, taking them to flat. I called seeking information of my right. They requested that I also withdraw that. So we drew charges of murder against me right. and we drew the matter in the What about your court. campaigns? My campaigns take off, continue. So I want to tell a boy, first of all, I said I have thanked God, I've thanked my wife, I've thanked my political uh, group, I've mm. thanked my community and the media and other social activists who did all the work. I have forgiven everybody. There's no ill feelings. This is for me. The politics go on. This election, we must campaign within the law. We are going to win this election. Okay. So all those Labour Party supporters, caring heart supporters, let us focus. Do not go into acrimony. Do not go into bad blood. What we are asking, luckily, the governor of the state is also the candidate for the APC. Mm. So he wears two caps now. As, As a, a governor candidate, and a candidate, he needs to campaign to win his election if he can. But I believe I'll beat him got the people who support me. All right. But he had a responsibility to provide a level playing field, let there be peace in Ebony, and let there be peace across the constituencies so that people will be alive to cast their vote freely and then also enjoy the benefit of the Thank democracy. you so much. Uh, Linus Okore is a candidate. <laughs> you know, we, are, we need to refresh. Yeah, welcome back. We were told... We're just getting information, you know, everybody's getting information from social media. <laughs> We're just being told that according to the report coming from DSS Dungeon, it is like Mazenam Dekano, Onyendu, our leader, somehow have beginning to distance himself or have actually distanced himself from criminal and treacherous Barista Ijofo, the murderer, the kidnapper of Mazinam Dekano. It's like Mazinam Dekano finally distancing himself from Barista Ife Juna, Judas Ijofo. So the information is there. Let us bring his, his leg to the public because I know they are going to send this program to him. And because you know, the level of treachery and betrayal is pushing him. So we are going to push him now to fall into the river with this particular statement we are making now. Mazi Nambikano have finally distanced himself from Barry Stage of Four. So it does not matter what comes out from there. But the news now is that there is a vital information that will be communicated to whoever through the other town crier. The town crier that was announcing, oh, you do say no sit at home, oh, you do say in Kanta crier. So that town crier is now the frontliner, the person that are fronted to be making announcement. So finally, finally, the the Carol White is no longer going to be announcing. Agwa Muno, the day that I will open a Jofo book will be his end in this Biafra struggle. 
Is it not happening? Is it not happening? He will know he will still come back and do some funny, funny thing and write whatever nonsense he's going to write. He is gone. Go and watch and listen to our broadcast. The day we started, you know, dealing with him. Any day we open our mouth and say, You are gone. It is the word of God. You are gone. I told you, Jeofo. I told you, Jeofo, that when I finish with you, Emaro, now walk a day. Walk a day. You got to go? Mm-hmm. Emaro, that's now. If you like, go to kill uh, go to kill cow in all the arroshi that you have in your community. It is not you know, it's work, it's going to work against you. Now we feel in a way and get it. I told you Jofo, that you are gone. You can never ever rise again, both in your profession. Both in this struggle, anywhere in this life, you will never rise again. That is the way it is going to be. You betray Biafra, betray and killed and mastermind the killing of many people. And you shall pay for it. I want you to understand that you can't touch somebody that is innocent and go free. So, we are watching with Ufuanya Ufuanya. I will be watching you with Ufuanya Ufuanya na Fuebenine. You know what, what I used to do? I deceive them. I deceive them with all these things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I cannot watch a job for any place he is with Ufanya. Touch na ba, touch na ba sike. And uh, some people say that oh, he, you know, he went and start. Saying, I mean, you know, I don't even know that anything like this existed. I don't know where, you know, in fact, I don't even want to make comment on that. But there is something that I want to make comment today. Those of you, especially the elders who are standing in on Nigeria's side and standing on Biafra's side, you better make your choice. So, you better make your choice. <laughs> you better make your choice. Not when we begin to do something. He, then you remember that you have to be part of Biafra. At that time, I had a Bapagi boot. You better be, you better come out now and stand on one side. Don't think you are smart. So, so you can't get your brain in the book. Brain in the book. So, it's your quiver, it's your quiver. No, we can't say me. On what I can say me. Some of you that are standing on Nigeria and standing on Biafra, you are the problem we have. Because you have not come. To show that you are actually ready to get your freedom. So how can you be saying, eh, can I happen? Can I make it to be? Can I make it to be? I remember Biafra. I got to me to It is either you are for P2B, you could be P2B, and you allow us, and you regard the Godigi as enemy. Do not come and pretend. Ni and I support P2B, we P2B fail. You will come to Biafra. No. We will take you as enemy and the enemy of our freedom you will continue to be. I'm not into all this nonsense of uh, I have to go to P2B. No, 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 no. Your activity in supporting P2B is jeopardizing Biafra. Do you understand it? Two-Face, Umairu Abbo, that is what you people are. So if you cannot uh, be a man enough to make a choice, stand on it, where you are not part of us. You are not part of us. I'm not ready to be listening to all this nonsense. Eh, came a P2B, came in Nigeria, P2B this one, a B that one. Ndi we me gonka, ndi we me gonka. But you have been part of the shout and Biafra. So stand on P2B, Kusike. Don't come and uh, start disturbing us. 
you know, and very soon I will not have meeting with anybody again. Anybody, if you are not going to talk about Biafra, do not invite me to any meeting again from today. I don't want to waste my time. If you if you are not convinced till now about Nigeria and and uh, and uh, Biafra, is it now that I'm going to convince you? Don't invite me. Do your bit of beating and let me see you as an enemy first of all, so that we go to this with you. I know that you are our enemy, number one enemy. Uh -huh. I will regard you as one. Don't invite me to anything from nobody. I don't want to. From today. I am not ready to meet anybody to discuss anything P2B or to discuss anything uh, non work SMEA. If your invitation is not about how are we are going to get exit from Nigeria next year, don't invite me. Because even if you convince me that we are going to discuss this Biafra, I will exit that meeting without informing you people. So today will be the last day anybody will invite me to any meeting. That will be discussing P2B or discussing anything, anything at all that is not about Biafra. Don't invite me. I am making it public so that we, you don't say Simon Ekpa is insulting elders, so that you don't say Simon Ekpa is not taking advice. Come and advise me how to get Biafra, not how to get Biafra by voting in Nigeria politics. Advise me how to get Biafra. Bring an idea how you think we can go, go, to, go to get this Biafra without voting in Nigeria. And I have my own idea. And that idea is that we first of all, make sure we do not validate Nigeria. Make sure we do not vote anybody from Omahi to anybody. Omahi that is doing this thing you see today in Biafra land. We will start by making sure we do not give them any vote. That is the way we want it to start. So come, invite me and give me an idea. Invite me and bring something to the table for Biafrans. Come and tell us what you think we should do to add to what we are doing. But don't come and tell me to stop sit at home. That is working. Do not come to tell me that we must support P2B. After that, when he failed, we are going to do Biafra. Don't come because I will disagree. And after that meeting, I will come publicly and say it. So do not come and invite me. If any meeting that is not about how to get this Biafra, don't invite me. I am doing this thing publicly, this announcement. I am not targeting anybody. It is not targeted at any group. It is not targeted at anybody. But from today, being the 22nd day of December 2022, I am not going to be in a meeting where we are going to be discussing sit at home, where we are going to be discussing uh, B, where we are going to be discussing Nigeria election, if it is not about how we can bring something to the table to make sure Nigeria get free, uh, Biafra get freedom in 2023. Don't invite me. And I want to tell Biafra that you know, the flyer is already, uh, you know, I do not know where, which kind, what kind of camera is this. Uh, our radical awareness for Biafra freedom is uh, <laughs> is on top gear. So I think that, uh, I think that uh, the flyers and the posters are already in everywhere in Biafra land. The posters are appearing. As you can see, this is a street. You know, street somewhere in Biafra land. I think this should be maybe like a Bonny State or so. This is a Bonny State, if I'm not mistaken. So you see, the whole, I don't know which kind of camera, which kind of camera is this? <laughs> this must be some El Allen, uh, alien, uh, alien uh, cam camera. The uh, posters for no 2023 election in Biafra land is on the street. Oh, say to go. Oh, say to go. Oh, say to go. Look at it. It is already in the street of Biafra land. Very soon, <laughs> very soon it will be littered everywhere. Oh, say to go. So if you see it, take a very good picture. Don't take a, a picture with a, with a techno phone. I, I they told they say that techno phone is not very good. So do not take picture with techno phone because this kind of picture I don't understand that. <laughs> the, the picture, the picture is like Nokia, Nokia touch, uh, Nokia touch a picture or something. 
So take a picture with a better phone and let us uh, continue. Now we are going to have, uh, we're going to receive call. We're going to receive call. Somebody say, your bad nation is not saying no election. Are we your bad nation? Are we your bad nation? Why are you talking about your bad nation? Uh, is Biafra your bad nation? Everybody, every group will have their modus operandi. We have something we do in common. So they are, our modus operandi is not, uh, uh, the modus we are using is not the modus they are using. So they have their own way and we are not adopting the same thing. So please, uh, uh, we are not uh, copying anybody here. All right, so we're going to open the line. And uh, all you have to do now is to make sure you ring us and air your opinion from what you've heard this evening. You're welcome to the program, my people. The line is on, and we are going to take call uh, in the next 30 minutes. We will be receiving call in the next 30 minutes. Remember that uh, uh, fundraising, emergency fundraising is on the 24th of December. You're welcome to the program. Mazi, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Don't wait until you want to move up again. I'll be before you. Okay, my heart right. I'm going to get your kitchen. I'll be where I am. If you left, and I'm right, or not right, and I'm left, and I'm totally can I'm not money. You can my own. Yes, second one owner in my device, not a bugari, a bugari or not. Yes, on a drama, I won't. He need read that as you in camera joy. Oh, my boss, in camera joy, a mebosa, in catch a boy, a mebosa. So he need a canadian two train ke passport in a cool mass air. Nigerian passport of Evoco in the whole world. Let me give you an example. I, we, I'm, I'm living in India and I'm married, I'm, I have Indian wife. Can you imagine I know an Indian woman? I am how one of the Because of getting Nigerian passport. You have a Nigerian passport. I think I have the worst criminal the worst criminal in this age. I am the only Puna Nike, Ipuno in Nigeria, and I have got me with them. Mazi Marihon, ye may, can I hear a body in twenty twenty three? Do it, or that is Bomba. There will not be peace of this world. There will, please. There will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you too. Bless you too. All right, we continue. Yes, uh, good morning from here. Hey, good morning, my Jibuago. There, well. Hello, God bless you. Bless you too. Bless our women. Bless you too. And our media warrior. Bless you. Uh, uh, there is something I just want to contribute. Regarding that uh, sister, that reverend sister. Mm. Can I give you my own experience? Go because ahead. Nigeria, Nigeria passport, I personally tag it badge of dishonor. Mm. If you carry Nigerian passport, you are carrying a badge of dishonor. Now, I live in Japan with my family. My son was born in America. He has American passport. My daughter was born in Nigeria. She has a Nigerian passport. Then I went to bank to open account for both of them. They, they are just teenagers. Do you know that within 10 minutes, after I filled out the two forms for both of them, within 10 minutes, the account was ready for my son, handed over to me. But they returned the phone for my daughter and gave me three documents to fill. One is an, under, one is an undertaking that I will not use this for fraud. The first document I, I signed was that I do I do not belong to family of president, governor, minister, any public office holder in Nigeria. That was the first document. <laughs> Second document is that that I, I signed undertaking 
that I should not use this account for, for money transfer. For laundering. Okay. Another undertaking is that I should not give this account to a third party. All right. So you see, <laughs> all these things, then they now say that it's going to take one week to process to know if it is approved to open bank account for my daughter. I took that of my son and walked away, and after one week, they now called me. My daughter is just 10 years. She cannot get involved in any crime. She is not a criminal. But because of carrying Nigeria passport, she was already part a criminal. And she wants to be investigated. And finally, they, after one week, they called me back and said, okay, I can come and complete the, the, the process. I now went back and finished it. Then I also went to open an account with my wife in another bank. Then I told my wife that she can't open an account, that she should go to another branch where her company runs their account. We went to that branch. They asked her, how can you work in Japan? Can you speak Japanese? She said, yes. Did you study? She said, yes. Do you have any certificate? She said, yes. Can we see it? We showed it. They said, okay. Now, let us, you fill one document. After you fill it, we had send it to head office. Then they process it. If it is approved that they can open account for you, then they will open account. If they don't approve it from head office, you can't open account because she's a Nigerian. Eventually, it took three weeks, three whole weeks, <laughs> before they called me back and said, okay, now they have gotten approval from the head office that she can open account. So yeah, no I call Nigerian passport the badge of his honor. Anybody, anybody, who know me in Japan here know what I'm talking about because mm. it's not easy. Anybody who is still standing for Nigeria, I think that person needs his brain examined. Thank you, Mr. Guago. My you. son said I should tell you that the name he called you, Simon Eba, is Alosia for the worry Berelala. Also, that your enemy is it. Bahaja Mokwagi here with Berelala. So he called you Alosia for the worry Berelala. He said, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless, bless you too. You. Bless you too. That's it. That's it. You know. And the and the enemy, the enemy is a hard one. I want to say whatever, because I for her. How much? And now I can do so. So I will have a mission. That TV. You're welcome to the program. Good evening, Happy New Year, Master Simon. Good evening, and welcome. Yes, please. I have a question to ask. Go ahead. Can I go on? I want to ask, uh, when a country uh, or a nation declares itself sovereign without the backing of the UN, what happens? Because I'm aware that the only two nations like in the world that, um, that are not part of the UN, uh, which is um, Palestine and the um, Holy See, which is the Vatican. But what really happens when a nation is not uh, when a nation declares sovereignty without the backing of the of the UN, you will still know what happened, and you are asking. You just said you just mentioned Palestine, you just mentioned Vatican. But let me tell you, uh, when it comes to Biafra, Aiji Aiji Are you an Igbo man? Yes, I'm Igbo. Uh, do you know the saying that says Onye Jigu Kegunesu? Uh -huh. Do you know what it means? No, no, what does it mean? It means it, it means the person that have the palm the palm uh, the uh, leaf of the palm tree or something like that is the person that the goat follows because in Africa goat eat the palm uh, leaves. So if you do not have it, if you do not have it, and uh, you go, you are going close to a goat, the goat will not follow you. So what this means okay. in the essence is that the Afra declaration will, uh, you know, will not be like other people that are not recognized by the UN. We are going to declare the Afra. We are going to stand our ground and fight. After that, they will have no other choice than to recognize us. Two, okay. the Afra has been there before. The war has been fought. And the reason that the Afra, Nigeria, you know, killed us has not... Uh, 
been resolved. And today it is even more clearer that those who fought against Biafra at that time, they are regretting it today. So it is not like the what it used to be. Three is that when I say Ewu Ejigu, or our natural resources is the palm tree or the palm leaf the palm tree, that we have. Yeah, so so they need us more than we need them. You understand me? Yes, I do. I do. Thank you very much. So if you understand that they need us more than we need them, you will know that immediately we declare and defend it, they are going to recognize us. As simple as that. They have no choice. Yeah. Russia, Russia have granted Europe. The next target is us. They don't have any other sources again. Do you understand me? Mm. And most of yeah. the most of the most of the uh resources we have have not been tapped. They are undeveloped and all that. So, but we are going to be, like I said, we are going to have what we call uh a brain-based economy. And of course, somebody is like writing bilateral agreement. Of course, that's when they have uh, you know, when uh, some nation have uh, of course, even before the UN, the UN, the UN is just uh, it's just ordinary. Before the UN, we even talk about recognizing us. Many nations will recognize Biafra. Everybody will be rushing to make business, to, to have a relationship with us. The only thing they want to know yeah. is how ready, how ready and serious are you? Yeah, mm. just, just like Afghanistan now. Afghanistan now, they, they don't get choice now. A whole terrorist take over Afghanistan. Uh, what did they do? Uh, uh -huh. They don't have choice. People were running away and holding an airplane to fly with an airplane like that. <laughs> you understand? And the whole world has recognized uh, Afghanistan. Uh -huh. They say they should denounce Al Qaeda just to denounce Al Qaeda. All the crime, all the crimes they committed against humanity, they forget. They did not even mention them. So we know world is now who stands strong to take it. So people of Biafra should understand that Fulani cannot outsmart us, including in their killing and including in their bravery, including in their criminality. If they come with crime, we defend ourselves with guns that we have. So we are not going to... The, the monopoly of violence is not in them alone. That is it. They kill us, we kill them back until we get our freedom. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm, I'm happy to hear this. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, we continue. <laughs> yes, uh, Prince, uh, Princess. Princess, anybody that is possible, that is supporting any governor candidate is not ready for Biafra. So they, they must come clean and uh, do this thing once and for all. Thank you very much. Welcome to the program. Hello. Anthony, great. Hello. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, especially, especially for holding forth uh, for our leader. He is so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, my it's like my it's like uh Mazen Nam the Kano Asaf go by the stage of for the breakfast. Can I warm up? Can you listen to your phone, please? Can you listen to your phone? Listen to your phone. I'm hearing myself there. Yeah, good evening from here. Good evening, you're welcome. Yeah, please. Uh, this is uh, Biafra pastor from uh, Adia State. You're welcome. Okay. Please, uh, it has been long. I'm uh, trying you, and I'm happy now that I get you, Mr. Simon Eba. You're welcome. Yeah. Please, I want to appreciate you, first of all for your good work you know this part i'm a pastor i've been telling people that uh, you are the right person which chuko kikabiyama had choose to represent and speak for biafrans and to make sure that biafra is restored in the absence in the absence of onion yeah yeah that is it 
And, uh, you know, last time ago, last year, when Marvin Adkalo was kidnapped, let me say this now. A driver to one politician walked to me and told me that Barry Stage of Four is behind the kidnap of Mazen and the Kalonian do. Please hold it there. And hold it hold it there, please. You are a pastor. Yeah. Somebody told you, a driver to a politician told you. The barista your four is behind the kidnapping of Mazen and the Kano. Yes. Go ahead. Now, now, you see, um, uh, it's for you to believe me, or uh, for the Biafra that is listening now to believe me. I am saying it because when this driver said it to me, I didn't believe him. Hmm. That was last year. Two last months. year. Two months after Mazen, yes, two months after Mazen Nadikalo was kidnapped. And I told him that, that, him, that, that what he just said cannot be possible. Hey. That how can a barrister who is defending IPOB, Pia France, and Mazen Nadikalo behind the kidnap of Mazen Nadikalo, person that he is defending? Yes. And he said to me, he said to me, I should watch that very soon. He just speak like a prophet. He said to me that very soon that Barista Jofo will be exposed. Wow. Now, I ask him a question. I ask him a question. How do you know? How do you know that Barista Jofo is behind the kidnap of Mazen and the Carlo? He now said to me that his, his organic the politician that he is driving said it to him. Hey! To face. The man was open up to him. After a meeting that they went to in Enugu State, if I'm not mistaken. Chineke. Oh, Tede. Now, see, Simon Epa, please, what I'm telling you now, what I'm telling you now is a fact. I don't know. Now, but let me just say this. Let me say, so I, I thank God for you. Honestly, I thank God for you. I have something to tell you. You see, he said to me that the drive that the that the politician said to him that that the only obstacle they are going to have is somebody that called Simon Eba. Enoqua. Yes. That the person, uh, he, that is the way he put it, he said the person living in Finland, one Simon Eba living in Finland, something like that. Oh, back then, oh. back then, just two months into the kidnapping, ha yes. chop tago na samana pagabo the obstacle. Yes. Chineke God. Now, now there is something he said. The way he put it, he said one man live. He didn't call your name. Yes. He said one man living in in, in Finland is going to be the obstacle. He's going to be the obstacle or something like that. I was like, ah, when you are uh, honestly speaking, I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him. Try. But when you now, it's like there was somebody who starts talking against Simon Epa. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, but it's stage of four. That time is when I now know that what that driver said to me is true. And you know, he came for me to pray for him. He came to me to pray for him. So when I now hear it, it's like somebody, somebody was kicking against Barista Ejo for them before you now start exposing him. Chai. They, you know, you know, one thing they try to do is to like somebody said to me, so many people were saying it, he says Simon Eba has the rare. And I was the one till tomorrow I will keep on saying it anywhere I go. I was telling them they should listen to Simon Eba. Because when you now start exposing Paris stage of four, even before you start exposing him, people were kicking against you. And I was telling them that somebody said to me that a politician said to him that you are going to be their obstacle, that they should listen to you. I'm telling you, till tomorrow, till tomorrow, what I'm telling you now, I will continue doing it. In fact, eh, you are God, 
you are in fact god just pick you to fight against the evil nigeria is evil nigeria is satanic nigeria they are vampires nigeria government are vampires do you know as i'm talking to you now as i'm talking to you now mr simon eba if you go to Okibwe Expressway, Fulani has men are kidnapped. As I'm talking to you now, they are kidnapping in Okibwe Expressway. In Okibwe? Somebody, yes, somebody, somebody, somebody called on phone and told us that one of her sisters traveling to Lagos was kidnapped in Okibwe Expressway. Now, another person came to me, was crying. Two women came to me, was crying, telling me that, that his, her son was kidnapped in Okibwe Expressway on Saturday, this 17th of December 2020. And I asked them a question. I said, did the person, the people that were caught, they said yes, that the person that the people has caught. I asked them a question. Is, is it full of knees or evils that be Yoruba? They said to me, the woman said to me, not evils, not Yoruba, that they are Awusas. Hmm. That they are Awusas, they are speaking Awusas. That means they are full of knees. Hmm. Well, we are going to put our, we are going to put our satellite in Okiwe. Uh, in that Okiwe now, and uh, thank you for this information. Uh, please, it is very important that uh, any place you see kidnapping going on in Biafra land by Fulani, please, Biafra should always endeavor to inform us so we put our satellite there. You know, we have those uh, intels, of course. Uh, you know, the place where they are kidnapping is different from where they want to attack. So, most of the intels we have are when they gather to try to attack or strike any community or stuff like that. But you know the kidnapping they can they can stage kidnapping anywhere, especially close to military checkpoints. So do you have military checkpoint in that particular Okiwe uh, road? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. About two checkpoints. Oh, military two checkpoints. Checkpoint. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So that is the point. That is the problem. Because the military are they are working with the military and you know, they collaborate and when they get this uh, money, they share it with the military. Because the military are part of them. In fact, Part of those kidnapping are even the military. Some of them will just change their uniform and go there in the full anise. Change their uniform and go to the bush and kidnap. That's what they do. And that's why we are not, uh, we don't want to see military checkpoint. No matter, of course, the checkpoint will be, but they are going to be hearing from us, you know, uh, you know, in a water water way, because we don't want them in our, in our road. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, I don't know. There is something I wanted to tell you, but not on air like this. So I don't know if I can get to you. Later. Yes, you can. Uh, you can send. You can send me a message, and uh, you know, send me a message, and uh, after the after the broadcast. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Remain blessed. Please. Bless it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Hi, hello, Melo. Have you people seen it that uh, um, <laughs> uh, the truth is out? But the the breaking news is that Mazenam the Kano distanced himself from a job for at least from the reports we are getting. Across the case, maybe an ambu. You're welcome to the program. Yes. Yes. Even even in 
Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see, a job for like as this man said, I called you the other day. I told you that if you investigate a job for very well, when you began that, well, if you investigate a job for, you will know that a job for is the mastermind of the whole thing. Yes, I know them very well. I know them very well. They love money more than anything. But I thank God that our brothers have picked up and know what they were doing. You know. You know, the, like, uh, I have one thing that I have to ask you. Can I? Go ahead. You see, like what our sister said concerning passports, it has been an epidemic to everyone who have traveled out of Nigeria. So, like, if it will be possible, let the government in Eza put eyes in that because so many of us are completely stuck in this in one country or the other because of this passport. In where I am now, I can't work, I can't sit for a job for any company or whatever because of this system passport. Even to get a house here is a very big issue. When you get a house, a place where you pay, despite the high cost of everything here, they will ostracize you somehow despise the person not to, mm. you know? So if it will be, if it, there will be anything, because everything has to start at a time, uh, at a time based on like a... So what is the question? So what is the question? That's the question I want to ask <laughs> in a way, like are we having a, a hope of having our own passport soon? Uh, one thing is that you can't have a passport where you do not have uh, a recognized uh, entity, where you don't have a country. So, but what we can have is that we can have some kind of, you know, identity card. And that identity card can be pushed in a way that every country where you are, if you have many beer friends there, you know, the awareness we can create with such identity card will make them to understand that we are not in unison with the crime of Nigeria. You understand? So we can create that a particular yeah. awareness, depending on what happened next year and how, you know, you know, depending on how we are, how long we are going to do this. Uh, do I can on, so, uh, uh, you know, so depending on, <laughs> of course, <laughs> depending on that, uh, because how come I do I can on, I got to go. So, my brother, hmm. my brother, this is not Edu I can on, no. <laughs> you see, this is not Edu I can on, no. The flani will be wiped off from Nigeria. They will go back to where they come from. Exactly. Because they <laughs> refuse to they refuse to learn. And then if I'm trying to use this medium to speak to some of our leaders, mm. those whom we may honor, we call them leaders, or those who are in political position. If and I'm also saying this as an advice to the Northerners also, if that they know what is good for them, they should call all these our leaders to a meeting. And they killed them because they are the one who divided Nigeria. I'm not saying this because I'm, I'm on the phone now. When Nandekano, when Mazum Nandekano went to, to them before, there was a thing that he wrote to them. Now they, 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 they know that he has brain. Mm. And these our leaders were fucking down to them. Well, bound down for somebody you're supposed not to bound down for. And now they continue to mesmerize the country every day. Every day they were misrising the country, looting our money. Mm. All this money that they are discovering from one warehouse to another, that money is enough to put Nigeria in order. And if, like, uh, the, the, the interview of uh, this guy, uh, what is his name, Abacha Boy, that you heard, that, and you will view it later, because I saw it before before you, you analyze it here, and you, the analyzation you get to it opened my brain more. Mm. Now, you heard what that man said that the, what we have in Nigeria, in that uh, accurate, uh, maybe some piece of Borono, uh, that's where, can build 10 Dubai in yes. Nigeria. We're not talking about the other ones. The oil that we have in Nigeria can build America in Nigeria, can build London in America in Nigeria. Yes. But yet, they cannot even listen to know who is who. There were 11 allegations on Nandekano. Which country on this earth can their citizens be held in a certain place? And the none of them, they 
call themselves leader or father. That is that is that is normal. That can sit down, be eating food with a sweet mouth. Ah, is uh, sometimes. In fact, I know why God drove me out from Nigeria because I'm supposed to be a, a dead man now. They know me when I was in uh, myself then. They know me very well. You wow. understand? But uh, I believe God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To be the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That is my son. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. My name is Oh, you're my babu man. Abalakata. You're from Bell. Bell. All right. Uh, we continue. Uh, honestly, um, I was supposed to end uh, two uh, and a half hours, so we take one more call. You're welcome to the program. Good evening. <laughs> Rasta Ferra. Good evening. <laughs> You are our voice. You are the Afro voice 247. You are Ugo Because the Afro voice 247. Nigga area got no choice. The Afro voice don't reach heaven. I say that you are the Afro voice. 24-7, nigga area got no choice, Biafra voice, don't reach Zion, see ya, you are named Biafra, you be the son, you are sonny, you make Biafra sonny, you are named the Austin, you are alive, you be a Paula Obigo, true survivor, for survivor of Biafra, yes, you are Biafra Global Network, you are Ajere, Biafra, Biagonabia, Atimna Ajere, hear me out. Kasi Wagum wana more. Maybe a Hana more. I hear you have water, 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 water again. Because, hear me out, please. Tease the teletard, non image. Inge again. Wow, living stone, because the truth cannot be refuted. Biafra superstar, you be Biafra night. We are not talking Igbo. It's Biafra who you say. I see. Ohamadike never took the name. People gave him that name, Ohamadike, and people give him name every day because Oha see what they happen. No you take out. People give you what they see in you. So and every person who is truthful inherits every name. This is why when he spoke at the conference, he was so pleased. He said he has spoken everything I wanted to speak. And he was so glad. And like Nnamdi Khan would call one Nigerian, she would make uh, programs, say only one Nigerian, so oppositions. You call him as a devil and say, no, please, you do that. Because you are looking for, to, for somebody to convince you otherwise. And you don't see. But people who say people shouldn't listen to somebody, this is where you see intimidation. Please hear me out. This is where people manipulate. Nnamdi Khan never want you to move like a sheep. Now the can take question. He's the man who questioned the authority. If the authority is doing good, he will relax and be enjoying the goodness. But as long as he goes back, he comes up and question. And this is why he says you shouldn't follow sheepishly. And this is why he's so pleased with you. See, so right now, in each and every of all these, all these uh, Biafran autopilot people, I see you, and I'm just trying to make them know that we appreciate the more mother, we appreciate the Afra um, superstar, we appreciate now every one of them. And what they come every day with, are people who don't understand, there is what we call Oyoko meter. This is a thing that is a meter, a cage, and it is. So when Simon puts his fingers, cross it and make a hole, he's yokoing everything. So, he's like, oh, yoko. Since you have the rest in your mate, never win you. Can we till you come and go to the party? Oh, Yoko. Oh, come on, look, I'm a Yoko. Why are you telling me not to have a day to say? Oh, Yoko, Nigeria, to leave me with a day to say. Oh, Yoko, full of me, to leave me, got a day to say. Oh, Yoko, water, 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 water
Oyogo because water, 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 water for their face. Water, 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 water for their face. Water, 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 water for their face. In this water, water workshop, we have water, water, water warriors. We give you water, water, non-stop. Oh, water, 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 shop love in this water, water workshop. We have enough water, water warriors. We give you water, water, non-stop. Water, 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 water warriors. Yes. Dragon, bringing the zoo disintegration. Conquering dragon, conquering dragon. Oh, the zoo get destruction. Conquering dragon, conquering dragon. You bring in zoo disintegration. Conquering dragon, conquering dragon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Message to those who are trusting those who see their palliatives. Why there was lockdown? Hey. And nobody talks about them. In harmful things are happening, you mm. trust in people who don't talk about them. Oh, what a suicidal spirit you have. What a suicidal spirit. It's like Daniel, right in the lion den, in the dens of Fulani. They will never, never, never win you. I say, conquer a dragon, conquer a dragon. You ride in Tobia Fraland. Conquer a dragon, <laughs> conquer a dragon. You bring in this, this integration. Conquer a dragon, conquer a dragon. Yes, you this integration. Conquer a dragon, conquer a dragon. And MK Lee. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, thank you.